Hey everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom, and today I am bringing you, sorry, I guess I wasn't quite ready. These guys, oh, so pretty, oh, so lovely. I, it took me a while to find one of these um, to bring into my home. Uh, and then not too long after I found another and I am just, I am smitten with these. And you're only seeing one side, but look at this guys. Ta-da, they are double-sided. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. And what we have here is the 9380 Twin Clutch. Oh my gosh, so awesome. I have, I have no idea what color this is. I am terrible with colors. That is something I need to spend a lot more time um, kind of diving into, which I haven't done yet, but I kind of think it might be Tabak, but I also think that I don't think it was intentional, even though sometimes I do think, okay, Coach has a spectator line. The spectator line typically is lined with Tabak leather trim, and it has a different color on the inside. Okay, um, it is the silhouette of other bags that already have style numbers. They get a new style number when they're um, put into the spectator line with that Tabak trim and the different color leather. But they're the same bag, or made the same way. They're just a different, I guess, design. You know, different leather design. Anyways, before Coach did that, Occasionally, you will see bags made in New York City, way before the Spectator line came out, that will have very, they'll have contrast stitching, or contrast um, piping. There's theories out there. Um, one, they patina differently, they wear differently, right? They color differently. Um, I would say sometimes it has to do with the glue underneath that can shine through. That's pretty evident in my uh, opinion. I can tell when it's a color change due to glue underneath. Um, so I don't think that's always the case. And then um, I, th I think I mentioned, yeah, people, coach used to like repair their bags and so they could have just lined it differently. Then there's also the thought, well, I mean, color, different leathers will, uh, different leather hides are gonna absorb dye differently. There's also probably gonna be different dye lots. It's a potential when this bag was put together, a whole different dye lot or leather was used for the trim, right? Um, so that's another thought. And then the other thought is that it could be intentional. Like Coach did it intentionally. Someone did it intentionally. Just, there's no real proof of that. I had a bag, um, it was a basic bag, and the bag was gray and it was lined in a, diff a brown lining, had a brown lining to it. Um, some people will say, oh no, that was still great. It absolutely wasn't. The, on top of, um, this bag was new with tags, but on top with the, um, the trim being a different color, the tag was the same color as the trim, okay? And you could even, because it's gonna have that, it was the raw leather. Um, I, I know a lot of people probably don't know about this, that, you know, you'll see double-sided coach tags, but you'll also see um, when they're older, it's completely normal for it to just be one-sided coach and the other side raw, okay? That bag, it was definitely trimmed in a different color, but I just don't know, was it done for a specific location? It wasn't sold by Coach because the New With Tags was a department store. Um, I don't know, I don't know what they did. I don't, I don't know, but it was definitely different uh, because, I'm sorry, the leather, the raw leather, it didn't match the raw leather on the bag. It in the um, the tag matched the trim, and for the spectator line, anytime you get a bag from the spectator line, whether the the main leather is red, green, blue, the tag is going to be the same color as a trim. Okay. They also did later on. There was trimming in white or parchment. Um, there may have been a navy. Yeah, there was a navy blue trim with white leather. Um, line that I don't that was actually not technically spectator but had that spectator look and they all had the a tag that um, matched the trim not the main color of the bag so that's a key in this case I don't think this was necessarily intentional 
Um, uh, I also don't think this was just simply um, patina. It's just too perfect, too natural. The strap is also the same color as the uh, trim, but I don't think it was intentional because uh, the tag more matches the color, the main color of the bag. So I think in this case, it just happens to be a different leather hide, a different um, maybe dye lot. I maybe even accidental chose a different color. I don't know, but either way, I adore it. It is absolutely phenomenal to me. Okay, I digress. I talked a lot about that. Sorry guys, but I'm obsessed with this bag. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get into the twin clutch. First of all, I'd like to um, share with you that I am wearing a Bonnie Cashin jacket. It's a little lighter, springier jacket. It's actually linen. It's not the softest linen. Um, I, a lot of her materials would be intentionally so that they would hold um, hold form. So, but yeah, it has this like gold detail. Um, anyways, love it. Okay. Let's see, twin clutch, 9380. These came with a strap that was either 36 inches or 44 inches. These are both a 36 inch strap, so the shorter strap. Um, and I actually believe the bags technically came with a 36 inch strap, but you could request a longer strap drop, a 44 inch. So something to keep in mind, something to maybe ask if you're looking for one of these pieces, if it's not already mentioned, how long is a strap if you care. So here's a catalog photo, 9380 twin clutch. And it even says a 36 inch or 44 inch strap could, would be available to this bag. Um, but there's actually, if you've been looking at this bag or noticed it at least, cause it's so, just so freaking cute. Boop, 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 boop. Um, here's an older version. This is from a 1975 catalog. These catalogs were found by someone who was researching, um, uh, lawsuits. And this is part of a lawsuit documentation available to the public. Not the best, um, picture, but this is again, same style number 9380, same, um, name twin clutch, same look. But if you notice the straps are different and you can see these for sale online as well. Um, even though they're, they're a fancy bag, they're a desirable bag, they're not really like, hmm, they're not super rare, but they're valued higher, if that makes sense. Um, but this is, uh, again, a 9380 twin clutch in this catalog photo. The strap is what is, is different. Um, I'll notice the difference also just by looking at how the, it was marked, whether it has a creed or a coach, car touch stamp or a coach metal tag even. And these 1970, well, I'm not gonna say all of that was from 1975, but what you can see in this photo here, you will see often a coat, I, and actually I think probably always, either just a coach car touch or a coach metal tag, metal, um, yeah, a metal tag that's kind of stuck into the leather. Those can go missing though. And they, provided a dog leash clasp, um, different than this class, which is the lobster clasp, right? Do it was a dog leash clasp and um, it came with a double leather stranded strap. I don't know how long that strap is because, well, I don't have one in my possession. I was just looking, both of these have a creed. They have um, a creed that says made in New York City and they both, this one. Yeah. And they both have hardware. Their lobster class have um, that. Sorry. Just trying to. Ah! Oh my gosh. Really, people? Okay. Their um, hardware has. <laughs> Maybe I should just take a photo. Do you see that? They both have, oh. Focus. That nautical hardware, guys. Do you see that little nautical sign there? Stamp there? Nautical hardware. 
So I digress. Super cool. So I don't have the older versions. I have um, the newer, but yet still vintage versions of the twin clutch. Just know there is another version out there for you. But the bag in itself is the same. So let's try her on. Guys, I don't know. I. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to let this one go. <laughs> I am obsessed with the patina on this bag, or it's not really even patina. I am obsessed with the trim. I'm obsessed with the contrast of this bag. I adore it. And I'm gonna show you her on me. And you'll probably agree that I shouldn't let her go. So cute. Just a shoulder bag with this 36 inch um, strap. A 44 inch I could totally wear cross body, but it's a removable strap. So you can always change the strap on any bag with a removable strap. Let's see, I'm gonna cross her. Absolutely not. <laughs> that doesn't work. Um, but let me, another thing is uh, the name Twin Clutch that might have made you think, hey, this is like a clutch, and it is. It was meant to be convertible, specifically meant to be able to be worn as a clutch as well. It's pretty thin. This one I don't have stuffed at all. I don't have anything in it. You know, if I keep this, I might have to get rid of, rid of my swinger bag because it's actually the same color. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Ah! Okay, so wonderful. Love it. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So excited about these. <laughs> Can you tell? And then this one, this is a navy blue. I already mentioned, but it's so dark. Here, I'm gonna take this jacket off because I just think it's probably better without this jacket. Um, it's that, that dark blue. You probably can't even appreciate that it's navy on this um, video, can you? I don't know, maybe you can. Let's open her up. She looks really blue to me. Maybe this can help you. Eh, still looking a little black, but she's definitely navy blue, particularly in light. But that dark navy blue, I feel like it can pass as black. I mean, you can wear it as both. I think you get two colors in one when you get that deep dark navy blue, and I love that about the vintage Coach navy blue. But here she is on. Bag. I have her. No, I don't have her stuffed either. Hold on. Let me stuff her. Okay. So what I did is I added some things like a case, a key case, my phone case. When I say case, it was like a Sonoma case that I added because um, I carry a lot of small luxury goods. Um, and then I just put a towel on the back just to like really stuff her. Um, I don't typically carry too much when I'm not with my boys. Those are my always carry items so not the towel but, you know or I could put baby wipes in here actually um I would probably prefer to pick a very used baby wipe pack you know so it's thinner but yeah so this is what it kind of looks like if it's got some items in it do you see that and then it's not flat it's actually super wonderful adorable gosh these bags I really might have to keep it <laughs> Oh, not this one. I am selling this one um, mainly because I'm trying to get away from all of the blues and greens that I have because those are my main colors. I have a lot of body cash and blue. So that's the only reason that I'd be getting rid of this because it is absolutely, the feel of this bag, um, the condition of the leather, the age of it, this bag is just simply wonderful. Great piece of history too. But here she is as a clutch with stuff in her. clutches I mean do you carry them casually because I would consider this I mean you could definitely carry this to a nice place but I would personally in my view this looks more of like a casual clutch obviously I'm in more casual attire that might be adding to it but um yeah oh just don't set her down on a dirty table or a dirty wet table it can be dirty just not wet too 
I mean, all of that can happen. They clean up relatively nicely. You just need to learn how to do it. Um, so yeah. All right. Well, that's all I got for you. I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like the video and subscribe to my channel for more vintage coach bag talks, once I reach a thousand subscribers, help, um, get me to that point, please people. I will give a, do a Bonnie cash and giveaway. So when I'm closer to that number, I'm going to announce what I'm giving away, but you're going to have to wait to see what that is. Um, until I'm closer to that number. Okay. Uh, Facebook group, vintage coach, I candy, join it if you haven't yet. So like to see you there. All right. Thanks for watching.